All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Box Wave, and we are back. Just want to do a quick video discussing uh, Jerome Boos Ennis. He's going to be facing uh, Roman Villa, all right? They both, last time we see both of them, we, they were fighting on the same card, okay? Uh, they weren't fighting against each other, obviously, but they were fighting on the same card. And the night, that was kind of wild, all right? Roman Villa is an undefeated fighter. Or undefe well, he's not undefeated. He has one loss in his record. But he was a, a unknown fighter that fought Rashidi Ellis that night. Now we know that Ellis went on a long period of inactivity when he was over in Golden Boy. So he left Golden Boy, had a tune-up fight against a journeyman, right? And they fought Via. Via was unknown. All we saw was that he had one loss and um, a very high KO percentage. Okay, he's basically knocked out almost everybody he's beaten. All right, um, so it was a lot of unknowns. I remember leading up to that fight, um, I tried to do some film study on the guy. There was like only one or two fights, which not the best footage available. So I wasn't expecting much from this guy. I just know that on box rec, when it came to his height, it, they were really, really off with that. And then we saw at the press conference that Villa was pretty much better than every, or bigger than everyone at that presser that day including Jerron Ennis. And um, John Ennis had fought Karen. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because it's really, really long and it's really, really difficult to say. But Jerron Ennis was fighting a guy that was an, uh, an unknown guy as well. And I know plenty of boxer fans like myself were saying, you know, not for nothing, but Jerron Ennis should be fighting Rashidi Ellis. And there was a lot of banter between the two in the press conference um, leading up to that fight. Basically, you know, Ennis was calling out Ellis. Ellis goes on to lose to Roman Villa. And Ennis did not look that great against Karen. Now, Ennis clearly won the fight. I thought he won all the rounds. You know, I think at the very most, you might give uh, Karen one round. But it was basically because of the movement. A lot of movement from him. Very tricky style. And Ennis just really could not get to him. OK, he was struggling to get to him. It's kind of similar to what we saw this past weekend between um, uh, Regis Progre and Daniel Lito uh, Zuria. Same thing. And um, Progre, who's been dominant for most of his career, has another K high KO percentage type of uh, record, just could not get to Zuria. You know, and I think uh, it's arguably a very, very disputable win for Progre. But now we're getting Villa and, um, and Ennis. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good fight. And it's definitely a fight that I've been saying should happen now that they both fought on the same card. Uh, I, I previously wanted Ennis to fight Ellis, you know. And since Ellis lost that fight, Ellis, I know Ellis was saying that he wanted a rematch because the fight was very close. I mean, Ellis did win like the first five or six rounds or so um, in that fight with Via. But after those first half of the fight, you know, Ellis clearly lost like just about every round in the second half of the fight. Plus he got knocked down, I think maybe once or twice. The, th the thing is with that fight, we didn't know who Via was. We didn't know how good he fought. All we knew is that he had a lot of power. And... Via in that fight looked very clumsy early on. Uh, he looked like he was slow, robotic, and he just didn't seem like he was in the same class as Rashidi Ellis. And then out of nowhere, this guy just leveled up in the second half while Ellis already had burnt himself out. You know, you know Ellis is a really, really fast fighter. He burnt himself out. And Villa started to take the fight over and bring the fight straight to him and had some skills. He didn't look as clumsy as he did in the earlier rounds. So with that being said, now that we're fighting Ennis, he's going to be fighting Ennis on July 8th. This is going to be on Showtime and Ennis is the interim IBF champ. He's in position already to fight for the IBF strap. Whoever is the winner of, you know, uh, Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford, uh, 
whoever wins that fight is going to have to defend that title. But there's going to be a lot of mandatories. We know Keith Thurman is like a mandatory with the WBC. We know that Stan Jonas Ortiz got a fight for their um, ranking in the WBA, I think. So there's a lot of stuff going on with these uh, titles over there. And I don't think, you know, whoever wins between Bud and Spence, depending on whether or not they have a rematch, those guys are probably going to have either have a rematch at 154 or the winner's going to go up to 154. Even a loser's probably going to go to 154 regardless. You know what I mean? I don't think any of these guys, I think the belts are going to split after the winner of Bud and Spence, and that'll be that. But the thing, thing, the key thing about this fight is that everyone knows what Villa brings to the table now. It's no secret. We know how big he is. We know when he showed up at the presser, we saw how big this guy was for a welterweight. Um, box rec did not, you know, I mean, even Rashidi Ellis said it himself during the faceoff, like, "Yo, I, I didn't know this guy was gonna be that big." You know what I mean? And um, now we know how big he is. Now we know that he can box. Now we know that he can crack at uh, an elite level welterweight. So Ennis, knowing that now, I think this fight is still a good fight. Not complaining at all. A fight that I asked for. But with that being said, now that I know that Via is good, I'm expecting much more from Ennis. And this is not just going into this fight. Thinking that this is just going to be a walk in the park. And this is going into this fight thinking that this guy is a threat. Because now we've seen how he can actually fight. You know, if Ennis went into this fight with, like, the same way Ellis did, he might have been in some trouble. You know what I'm saying? He might have been caught with a good shot. Or, you know, he might have underestimated uh, via, like, the way Ellis, I believe, Ellis did. You know, because Ellis seemed to be very, very confident in those early rounds. Until he started to slow down. And then we saw a completely different fight in Villa. Like, there's a lot of fighters that use that strategy where they try to burn their opponent out and then come strong later. You know, take fighters into deep waters and then come strong later on. There's a lot of fighters that do that. But Villa actually changed completely as a boxer. Uh, I do want to go back and take a look at that fight uh, when I get some time and give you an uh, actual breakdown on the week of the fight. All right, um, I'm gonna definitely gonna do a lot of boxing content right before I go away on vacation, so um, that'll be one of the videos that I'm definitely gonna not gonna do. Uh, definitely gonna do before I'm going away. Definitely not gonna be able to do any covering of any boxing that weekend, um, but I'm definitely gonna do the breakdowns before I get out of here. Uh, but with that being said, very interesting fight. Uh, I think it would have been a better fight, and it still might be a great fight. But now that we know Villa is the real deal, I think Ennis is going to come with his A game. And um, he needs to. He needs to. Um, but he knows that. We know as well, as long as the fight goes, Ennis can't give him everything he got early. Because we already know that Villa can box a lot better than he might, you know, that we believed he could in those earlier rounds against Ellis. So... Um, I'm I'm interested in the fight. I'm interesting. I'm interested in seeing what approach that Jerron Ennis is going to take. Um, I'm also interested in seeing how Via does. Is he going to start off boxing at a high level early, or is he going to try to draw you know um, Ennis to the later rounds? Can he even do that with Ennis? Ennis is different than Rashidi Ellis. He just doesn't have speed. He's extremely orthodox. He can switch, switch. He's a switch hitter. Um, he has a lot more power. He's bigger. You know what I mean? He's just overall, I think he's just, he brings a lot more to the game than Rashidi Ellis does. And he's been more active than Rashidi Ellis. So with that being said, I think it's a completely different fight. I will do a breakdown, but I do believe that Ennis is going to beat him. I just don't know how, but he also has to be cautious because we never really seen his chin get really tested yet. Not against a really big puncher. And, you, you know, Villa is a puncher, clearly. All right, so anyway, those are my first thoughts on this fight. I will do a breakdown on the week of the fight. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.